Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. Uh, really quick video today. I had a bunch of requests from uh, my fam jam here to look into the Warzone 3000 series issues, if you want to call them. At first, when I was benchmarking, I had like no issues at all. So I was like, what are you guys talking about? You're crazy. Um, but then after I transplanted... Oh, wait, let me do this after. After I transplanted the 3090 into... Oh, she's playing. She's enjoying her war zone. Um, <laughs> as soon as you... Or as soon as I transplanted the 3090 into her computer, I had the... Um, or she was getting the typical 150 FPS stuck. Like, couldn't get higher than 150 FPS. Like, like the a lot of streamers were having the same problem, right? Um, anyway, it took me about a day of troubleshooting to figure out. There was like a, there was a multitude of things going on here. So if this is this video is for anybody that has a three thousand series card and has issues, uh, we're gonna troubleshoot it right now. So there are actually three three different things you want to look out for when you're troubleshooting this bug. There's actually three different things causing the exact same symptom. And I got all three of them. So th the first thing you want to check, let's just start with the first one. The first thing you want to check, download GPU-Z here, and you want to check how many lanes your graphics card is using. And what had happened was when I installed the 3090 on my computer, I have a Maximus 12 Apex. It, it ran fine. Nothing was wrong. When I installed this card into my wife's computer, she has a Z490 Aorus Master. For some reason, the motherboard was running the card at four lanes, 3.0 bandwidth, or um, PCI Express 3.0 times four lanes. And no matter what settings I changed in the BIOS, I could not get it off of four lanes. So there, there was something to do with the new Ampere cards and that BIOS. Anyway, so I fixed that by updating the BIOS, and then it went to 16 lanes. So, it, I guess this would depend on how early of a BIOS or how early you bought your board. But just check for this first. First things first. Like, if this says PCIe times 4, go back and update your BIOS, and this will fix that problem. That's step number one. Now, problem number two actually has to do with how the boost algorithm was working with the Ampere cards. Um, it, this one is really hard to, to notice, but let me show you. I'll try and make it happen. But when you actually go into the game here, um, so you know, you know how the, the boost algorithm was actually crashing games out? Sometimes it wouldn't actually crash Warzone outright it would make the screen flick a uh, semi crash like it would make the screen flicker and then if the screen flickered it would go out of full screen mode into borderless full screen windowed mode and then if that happens you're stuck at 150 fps so a little bit of the exact same symptom and the only way that you can check for it is if you if you if your screen flickers for a split second um let me see if i can make it happen so I'm going to give you a quick example here of what it's doing. I can't make it do it on the fly, but I can give you just like um, a rundown of how it works when you like, like, let me show you, let me show you. So we're in practice mode here right now, and we're always going to have about 40 FPS higher anyway. But right now, looking at the mountain, we got about 280 FPS, right? So when, when the Ampere boost algorithm makes your screen flicker it it will put it in full screen borderless mode so then watch what happens we lost 30 fps right so and and it's also much bouncier now too like like it, it might even it might even sort of feel the same like you'll be hard pressed to notice it but if you look at your FPS counter, it'll be at 150 in the game. Literally the exact same symptom as as PCI Express 3.0 um, times four lanes. So 
if this is happening to you and you have and you and when you press escape you go to options you'll see that it says full screen borderless if this is happening to you the only way to fix it is to just go into your afterburn or whatever just down clock your card a little bit and it make it stop flickering itself out of full screen mode right that's that's step number two also another quick thing that can cause your war zone to flicker although i didn't have this problem my wife didn't have this problem if you have a really poorly um what's the word poorly supported g-sync monitor like an old like a really crappy g-sync compatible one and anything that makes your screen flicker will put you into borderless mode so if you have a g-sync monitor and you did all these things and it's still flickering on you try turning g-sync off if it's not a proper supported g-sync monitor just something to think about as well but let's go to step three here all right, this last part, I have to actually show you guys in a real game. So it's just loading up here, but I only have 60 seconds to show you before the round starts. Um, the last option you want to look out for is NVIDIA Reflex. It's a new option. I don't know if it's for 2000 series as well or just 3000 series, but you want to make sure that shit is off. Let me show you. So we have a nice stable F. Oh my God, this guy's coming for me. Ah, fuck you. Um, so check this out. Reflex on. Okay, it's actually not doing it right. There it is. Did you see what happened? It, it's dipping. Wow. It's dipping down to 170, 150 FPS every so often. You can see it, 170. It, 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 this only happens when you have reflex on. And then what's happening, I'm actually going to get out of here. Yeah, 160, 190, it, it, it's, all over the, it's all over the place. So what, what happens when you have reflex on? It fluctuates the FPS so much that it actually causes, never mind the frame dips, but it actually causes your screen to flicker into borderless mode because it's, it's, it's bouncing up and down so much. What you want to do instead... Just make sure this is off. Just don't use this right now. This is this is AIDS. So final little recap. Step one, download GPU-Z. Make sure you're running PCI Express 16 lanes. If not, update your BIOS. Step two, check to see if your game is flickering and putting you into borderless windowed mode. If it is, downclock your GPU a little bit, get it to stop flickering. Step three, just make sure NVIDIA Reflex is turned off. You can use, I don't even know what Reflex is supposed to do, to be honest, but you can just turn on low latency mode on on here. And I use, I, I put on for all my games anyway. It's, it's, um, it's the same thing as, um, oh, what it, it used to be called something else. It, it, it renders one freight ladder. I don't even know how, I don't know how to explain it. It, it doesn't it doesn't allow the game to buffer any frames. It only renders one frame at a time as it gets it. So this should always be on anyway. Don't use ultra. Just put on. Turn reflex on or off. Turn this on and leave it like that for your competitive games. And you're going to be really happy and laughing. <laughs> and that, my fellow frame chasers, is what separates you from the plebs. Um, being able to navigate trash nvidia drivers coupled with a uh, trash infinity ward uh, game engine a and just being able to get th just navigate through all those bugs so you can just frag that dude before he frags you that's less that's what we're all that's what we're here about so anyway that is it for this one guys i hope this helps some people out there this took me about a day of dicking around to figure out it sucked but Ampere works really well in Warzone once you get it working. You can crank that resolution slider up and you'll be able to snipe people across mountains without a scope. Like, it's epic. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you in the next one. See you later.